AI is exploding again and it's really crazy. Hello my friends, how are you doing? It's always a great week when there is cool stuff in AI to look at and this time I want to show you some new image from Stable Diffusion 3 that are so beautiful and some cheeky tweets by Emet, the head of Stable Diffusion or Stability AI. There's also some sad news in this video to be honest and yesterday we had a really cool live stream. Happy to have you on there. We created this amazing output from this input and by the way, I'm going to put the workflow from my live stream as a little reward to my Patreon supporters. I think that's okay. Let's get started with this video. These crazy, amazing Stable Diffusion 3 images by Lycon. Follow him on Twitter, of course. What I like about them is how realistic they are, but also how artful they are. This is something that was always missing from Stable Diffusion vanilla models from Stability AI, that they are not expressive enough, the colors are not beautiful enough. Here we see some really good examples. Now what I also enjoy about this is the realism in the images that it's not just looking real but it's feeling real. It has this warmth, it has this, how can I say, it, you can almost touch it. It feels nice. It feels good. And this is something we haven't seen before. And I think this is where the stable diffusion model is coming really close to what mid journey can do in its expressiveness. I really like that. Here's another image, which is really cool for the pixel art, the text style, the pixelation in the text, the retro style in the text and the font design. That is pretty amazing in that image. And here we have another image more in a digital concept art style. Again, very expressive, very beautiful, nice composition, interaction between the characters. There's even some text on that little paper that I would say a dark elf is holding here. So like I said, I feel like this is coming much closer to what Mid Journey can do. Now Lycon has posted a lot of really amazing images on his account. So I want to invite you to check all of them out. There is so much detail and interesting things to find in these images. And they really exemplify how amazing Stable Diffusion 3 is going to be. And this is probably also why Emet made the cheeky tweet where he said this is maybe the last major image model that they are going to release. What he means by that and he clarified that in another tweet is that this model is probably going to be useful and good for 99% of the cases where there isn't really more improvement needed for the model. However, I would point out at the same point that still even though the image quality might be really good, the control is still lacking when you want to have something specific that is created because the model is good in creating really amazing images. But at the same time, there is still also very random images. Now you have IPA control and things like that, but it's still not enough to give you a really controlled output down to the detail, down to, for example, the fabric, the design on the fabric, things like that. So next thing we are going to talk about is Ella, which is a mix of Stable Diffusion and an LLM. They are running together and they help each other out because what they say in the research paper is the problem with Stable Diffusion is, is still using clip as a text input to understand the text the image is created from. And that's a big problem because that is just not sufficient of what you want from the image. So they have created Ella and this is is short for Efficient Large Language Model Adapter. Now they haven't released the model yet and I hope this will be included in Automatic 11.11 soon but also in Conf UI so we can play around with that. You can already check out the paper and check out the GitHub page for their project. Another interesting project I want to show you is by OK Mobile on Reddit and he has a combination of SDXL Lightning, ControlNet and Manual post control and you can try that out today. We'll link it of course below the video. Now the whole process here is 
really fun to use and intuitive because of the LCM. And that's one of the huge benefits. When you see live what you do, you can adjust and react to what is happening. And of course, here you can play around with the web interface to create the images. You can put the prompt, the seed, the denoise settings. However, as soon as I started to recording, this broke down for the website. So I can't show it to you myself. I can only show you this web demo video. Now, the next thing I want to show you is a little bit sad. This is about the future of Sora. And here we have the team developing Sora. I know you're not giving timelines, but you're in the testing phase now. Do you think it's going to be in a available for public use phase anytime soon? Not anytime soon, I think. Yeah. Okay. So it's really sad to hear that this is not close to release. I really wish we would be able to play around with that in about a month because they made it sound like that when they showed the first demos. And I also wonder why is it not close to release? Is it not as good as advertised? Does it make too many mistakes? Maybe the abilities of the model are limited to the things they have shown us in these kind of demos and it can't do everything kind of as suggested with this kind of physical world model that it's kind of simulating. So there's a lot of interesting questions why this is not happening right now. Also, even if it isn't that good, even if it is limited, why not still release it? Because even the first image generation models haven't been that good. Maybe the model is too risky to be released because of what we have seen, what the community is training the models on. And you all know what I'm talking about with the waifu content and so on. Another thing I want to show you today is this stunning image by MythMaker AI. He posted it to me on Twitter. This is made by DALI3 and then using the universal upscaler to upscale the image photo adjustments with Photoshop, some in painting in Photoshop. And he also sent me the before image. So this is the unedited image. You can see how the colors are different. There's an additional character up there. Some details are different. Also, the face expressions are different. So he quite did some additional work to make it much, much better. And as you can see with the color adjustment, this has just so much more expressiveness and atmosphere. This is why I would suggest to everybody to take their AI images and process them in Photoshop, especially camera raw, Lightroom, can also do something similar with these kind of color adjustments that just improve your images so much. But the in-painting he has done here is also really stunning. And the cool thing about that, the whole process, all of this is about half an hour, an hour to create all of that image. That's just mind blowing. And last but not least, I want to show you this absolutely stunning project here, a combination of 3D software AI rendering, post-processing, just creating absolute magic. Now this, this combination of tools, that is the future of where AI is going. Look at these amazing results. Now, because the amazing thing about AI is that putting all the details in and finalizing all the effects and quality is 90% of the work. And if you have the AI doing these final steps for you, you can stick with experimentation, with coming up with the ideas, with preparing the composition and training the models. And then the AI is giving you this finalized output that is just magical. And I've also these examples from yesterday's live stream, maybe rewatch that. You can see here some examples of the image input, the output where a very simple sketch is turned into something that is a really nice asset artwork with a lot of detail in there. So that is a lot of projection into what the AI future is going to be. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of that. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.